Hey, so it's an Incredible Hulk here. Just kidding, it's me, Flea Market Falcon. You know me, I soar high in the air, and then I'm swooping in to scoop up the deals. Every week at the flea market, I'm a bird person thing. I morph between the two. Hey buddy, what's going on, how are you? Living the dream, man, living the dream. Good, good. Found some pretty good VHS in this box right here. Came back, huh? Yeah. How much are you asking for the VHS tapes? Uh, like a buck a piece. Could you do 50 cents a piece? You can buy them all, yeah. Plus 10 for that pile so far. That sound reasonable? Uh, it should be good. Okay. The Barney actually do have value. I looked them up, but unfortunately these have molding. Got a bunch of old comics here. How much are the comics? Three apiece, two for five. Not a horrible price, but more than I want to spend. Triple H, the game. At one point, this was very hard to find. How much are the DVDs? A dollar. A dollar, yeah. A dollar thing. A lot of balls, 20 bucks. Uh-huh. All of them for 20. I don't think there's enough in here that I'm interested in. But. So that was worth more when there weren't 100 DVDs based on Triple H and also when DVDs were more popular in the mid 2000s. Darkstalkers Chronicles for PSP instruction manual only. I'm gonna ask if he'll take 25 cents. The loose instruction booklet, will you take 25 cents? I'd be happy to. I hope yes. you make lots of money on the loose instruction booklet. It's worth a fortune. He was swooping in to scoop, make, up, scoop, up, scoop the up the deal. <laughs> you can edit that over there. Yeah, yeah. So they actually have some pretty good DVDs, but... I probably don't want to spend very much on these. This looks a lot better than it probably actually is. Got a lot of the eight films after dark. Probably a bad remake. Excuse me. How much are the DVDs? Uh, two bucks each. How much for the whole bin? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God. I don't. I don't know. How about 50 bucks? That's way too much. How about three bucks? Sure, three bucks sounds good. No, no. Just kidding. <laughs> How about 40 bucks? I would do 20. Oh, no, I don't want to do 20. No problem. Appreciate it, though. Thank you. Would have liked those for cheap, but that's just too much. Would you sell all of them in one lot? All of them? Yeah. After he's done looking. <laughs> what are you thinking anyways? Just on like all three boxes? Yeah. 75. Yeah, I'd much rather just cherry pick the good ones. <laughs> good, do that. No <laughs> so got these two for resale and this one to listen to. Greatest hits of the 80s, eight CD box set. This was a dollar. A lot of people, they'll say a price like $1 for a CD and they don't really care if it's a box set or not. So this is a great deal and I'll listen to this myself. Would you take five for these? I won't sell them all for 20, but if you buy one, it's $10. Yeah. I mean, they're hundred some dollar shoes, so. New. When they're used, it goes down. Yeah, but, but once you put them on, they're used. I had another person that said that to me. They're used. Yeah, the minute you put them on, they're used. Maybe I goofed up not buying those pumps. I'm not an expert on sneakers. Those are cool, but guaranteed they want retail prices. Let's 
Solo. People give that movie a hard time, but I actually think it's good cheesy fun. It's like a knockoff Jean-Claude Van Damme, Cyborg or Universal Soldiers type movie. It was a little light this week, but did swoop in to scoop up a few deals. Got the CDs, which you already saw. Got the instruction booklet for 25 cents. And then got the VHS, the 14 for $10. And I also got this thrown in, the Allman Brothers Band. I find these old cassettes to be intriguing. It's in a hard plastic shell. You saw me pass on the Barney tapes because they had mold. These, for the most part, don't have mold. Did notice a little bit on this one. You can clean them, but it's a pain in the buttocks. Let's see what I grabbed here. Wishmaster 3. The first Wishmaster is amazing. One of the best horror movies from the 90s, as far as I'm concerned. The ultimate best 90s horror movie, in my opinion, though, is the Night of the Living Dead remake. We got some more. The Lost World, Moon 44, Shark Attack. I didn't really want these, but the guy wanted me to buy all of them. And in fact, he didn't really even give me that good of a deal, but there are some good ones in here, so I'm very happy with what I got. Biker Mice from Mars, did I mention that one? If you're of a certain age, that's a cartoon that you probably remember, Saturday mornings. It came from outer space. Pretty cool. This one, like fine wine, he got better with age. The re the rivals of the silver fox martial arts not really sure what to make of that one but could be good return of the fly pretty cool right there scanners 2 awesome she now i already own this one on vhs but it's cool to have another one these ones on lightning video those are hard to find and are collectible Connoisseur 2. I like the first one. Look forward to watching the second one. Cross Worlds. You have Rudger Hauer. Looks pretty cool. Alien. Has a Hollywood video sticker previously viewed. But look at that seal right there. That's factory seal. I bet my life on it. And look at the 20th Century Fox emblem. So yeah, labeled used, definitely brand new. And finally, we have Cage 2, the Arena of Death, starring Lou Frigno. I own the first one, and it's a guilty pleasure of mine. It's a movie that would be considered politically incorrect. Lou Frigno plays a guy who's shot in the head in Vietnam, and because he's shot in the head, he is now special needs, I guess is the best way to put it. And you know the only reason they did this was because the screenwriters, you know, they had access to Lou Ferrigno, but they didn't know how to explain why he talks like a deaf guy. <laughs> Very over the top. So Lou Ferrigno, he loves wrestling. And uh, his brother is, like, kidnapped, and, he, and uh, he's forced to fight. So it's basically a ripoff of every arena combat movie you've ever seen. Except for this one has Lou Ferrigno. So just a few pickups this week. Let's jump to next week, see what we can find. And here we are. Nothing like an 8 a.m. beer. They have these tool CDs, but they're empty. If you look in this one, they're in here. So it is helpful to look around. Those just fell. Not my fault. How many you got there? Like 15. Would you do five bucks? No, I may do uh, four, um, four for a dollar. Four for a dollar? Yeah, four for a dollar. So one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. So I save a dollar. I'll give you five. So I ended up getting them cheaper than what I offered. I'm not sure if he was just joking around, but uh, I ended up giving him the five bucks anyways. Get a bunch of 90s CDs. Perfect Circle, that's not 90s, but you know, close enough. 
live. I never really liked them, but I decided to grab it anyway. Kilgore Smudge. That was a band local to the Providence area. I'm actually surprised they never made it big, uh, but Godsmack did. Uh, both, you know, were fine for the type of music they played, but, you know, some people make it and some don't. The box on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's the guy from Don't Breathe. Yeah. Got 30 copies of Superman Lives. Remember when people thought that would be worth something? This is, is a this? good game. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I talked to you uh, maybe a month ago about the movie Rad and BMX. Yeah. Do you know any tricks still? Yeah. I could I could do a few things. <laughs> yeah, if you have more space, I do, I do some stuff. Uh-huh. I'm oh, come on, there's plenty of space. Somebody's booth over here. Uh huh. <laughs> Darn it, there wasn't enough space to do tricks. You might remember from a past video, I talked to that guy about BMX. He said he was in the movie Rad for a brief scene. So, wanted to see if he still had the goods. Huh. Vintage skateboard wheels. Legend. How much are these wheels right here? 20 for the bag. 20? Maybe if they had a cool graphic or something I could resell those, but I don't think just generic ones like that are worth very much. Not really sure though. Those are all gold watches, every one of them. This is a buy, right there. I see you point to it. Because it's solid diamonds and it's a Jules Jurgensen. It's 900 I gotta get for it. I looked up Tecmo Baseball Nintendo on my phone and it auto-corrected to the clown-faced bald wind center. I was here last week, but they have more VHS. Slipstream. This movie is always on the public domain DVDs that you find. This is really strange. I guess it's just a generic cover from Leech Mare. Never seen that before. I'm gonna check out these two for a dollar each. They still call me Bruce. Pretty sure this is a sequel to a movie called They Call Me Bruce. I could be wrong, but I think I've seen the original before. Diary of a Hitman. Forrest Whitaker as a hitman. Looks pretty good. You're not going to be headlining any rock shows with the first act guitar. At least they're being honest. Lots of stuff in that van. They got some gently used adult magazines for a buck. Just wanted to do five, I could do that, otherwise I don't know. Meet me in the middle at seven. Alright, that sounds good. Awesome. Wheeling and deal, we bargain. Wheeling, they are wheels. So that's... <laughs> right? <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so didn't get too much this week. Got the CDs, which you saw earlier. Got a couple of VHS tapes. And got the skateboard wheels. That's how the flea market goes. Some days you can swoop in and scoop up more than others. Thanks for watching. See you soon.